Doing it. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Hold on. Let me do this the right way. Where is it? Where, where is it? No, I'm going to do this the cool way. I'm going to turn that on. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Origin PC live build. Man versus game. All right, cool. That's enough of that. That production quality, not too bad, huh? What is going on, everybody? Welcome, uh, welcome, friends, to another Origin PC live build. Um, I've tried to adjust the volume from the music. Like yesterday was obviously way too loud for most of you. So hopefully it's a bit better or just just right. You let me know. You let me know. Man vs. Game in the house. Good to see you, man. Thank you for joining us, friends, for another Origin PC live build. Let me tweet out the fact that we're live. There it is. Boom. Tweeted. Uh, before we get started, let me do some things here. Uh, let's get the mini above camera. Uh, let's get the big above camera for now. Bam. Uh, John John. Say hello to everyone, John John. Let me give you a high five. There it is. Sounds good. Good to see you. Good to see you, friend. I hope you're very excited. Uh, we're going to be putting together an epic system for MVG today. We're super, super amped. Man, now that you're here, now that I'm speaking to you directly, a huge welcome to the Origin PC family, man. We are very excited to have you on board. Uh, this has been a long time coming. I know we've spoken at a bunch of events, so it's really cool to you to finally been here. I personally have been watching you for ages, so this is very exciting for me. Um, been a huge fan and now we're working together so that doesn't get any better than that man thank you for all the great content you've pumped out throughout the years and now as my thank you to you we're gonna build you an awesome PC how you like them apples uh, let's go ahead and talk about the specs real quick before we move on first things first uh, so we're gonna be building man an origin PC Millennium and our new Millennium v3 this is gonna be black on black with an 850 watt EVGA supernova, a bla black sleeve cables, EVGA Z370 FTW motherboard, an Origin Frostbite 360, an Intel Core i7 6 core 8700K, one of my favorite or my favorite Intel CPU out right now. Um, it's perfect for gaming. Uh, dual, count him, two 8 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080s, all the power he will ever need to play some pretty epic games. Uh, 32 gigabytes. Origin approved DDR4 RAM at 266 megahertz, uh, two by 16 sticks, a 500 gigabyte Samsung 850 Evo SSD, a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda. I know you're all gonna ask what the price is, so I will get that to you um, later on in the build. Uh, also, here at Origin PC, 100% of our proceeds go directly to St. Jude. This be from sub, this be oh, I'm a pirate now. This be from subscriptions or be from donations. We give it holy. <laughs> uh, whether you subscribe or donate, what? <laughs> That's Jamaican. Whether you subscribe or donate, 100% of the proceeds go directly to St. Jude. You're never required to do so, but know that if you do, it's going to a good place. Now, if you have Amazon Prime and you have Twitch, you can combine them and get Twitch Prime. What's Twitch Prime, you ask? Well, with Twitch Prime, you get a free subscription every month. If you're not already using it on your favorite Twitch streamer, then go ahead and drop it on us because 100% of the proceeds go directly to St. Jude, even from that. So fantastic, we love you. Uh, back to the specs real quick. I wanted to show off the actual build that we're doing. So this is what Man vs. Games panel is gonna look like once it's completed. Um, the, the first time we did it, unfortunately, didn't come out the way we wanted it, so we're gonna have to redo it. We want to make it absolutely perfect, so that's how it's gonna look. Um, we're super amped. There's the specs again, real quick. Uh, talking about our monthly promo, remember it is February, so show your love for gaming with Origin PC. Happy Valentine's Day to those that weren't here yesterday. A happy Valentine's Day again to you. Uh, with the promo, you get a free external A data, 256 gigabyte SSD, along with a ton of digital copies of games, so that's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, check that out at OriginPC.com. Also, the PC that we're building today for MVG is our Millennium 
desktop v3 we also have the new genesis v3 available now at originpc.com and check those out tomorrow tune into origin pc live our special guest will be none other than the man the myth the legend towel the tank we're very excited to have him on awesome dude we've been working with him for a few years already such a great guy on stream and even a greater dude off stream um, looking forward to hanging out with that guy tomorrow so tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m est to origin pc live uh hashtag origin pc family man versus game with the sub thank you so much for the sub can we get a hashtag for the kids in chat thank you man that is awesome so 100 of our proceeds from that are going directly to the children at saint jude thank you very much mvg spreading the love spreading the love wild how you doing my man good to see you good to see you for good sir um okay john you want to get you want to get things cracking my bro yes, let me get the let me check out this elgato stream deck real quick bam bam now let's get the little mini above camera bam look at that production quality beautiful good to be here mate good to see you man the case looks super sleek. Thank you so much. We put in a lot of hard work. This is our newest generation of our case. Um, it's awesome. It's got tempered glass side panels. You can get tempered glass on both sides if you want, or aluminum paneling on both sides. So what we're doing for Man vs. Games panel, can you hand me the wood grain one? Yeah. So you guys can see real quick. It's this new thing we have called textured printing. We haven't officially launched it yet, so Man vs. Game is going to be among the first to receive a textured printing panel. That logo that you see on his panel is going to be textured, so it's actually going to be popping out of the case. You can actually feel the logo in all its glory. It's going to be really, really cool. So this is just a wood grain example. This is a textured panel example. Um, this is a wood grain that we did, and this is actual, it feels like wood. You can't, I can't sh feel it on screen. Maybe you can touch the screen and maybe it'll work. I don't think so though. Um, it looks like wood and it feels like wood. So that's what the textured printing, what you can do. It's an awesome, awesome piece of tech. We're super excited to be offering it to everyone. And you as a customer can get absolutely anything you want textured printed on the side. We also do laser etching, which I'll show you in a bit. Well, here we can do laser etching on the aluminum panel where we will laser etch something like this. Awesome scene from Doom. Check that out. You can laser etch whatever you want if you have a screenshot from your favorite game. We can also do this in color on a glass panel, which looks glorious. Uh, that's also gonna be launching very soon. But more stuff on that when we have, um, when we launch it, we're gonna put it all over social media, so keep an eye out. Make sure to follow Origin PC across all social media. That's at Origin PC across everywhere wherever you want if you want to join our discord channel our discord channel we have a great community where we discuss tech we discuss games we discuss movies i just added an art channel people are showing off their art photography drawings all sorts of cool stuff you can join us at discord.gg slash origin pc i'd love to see you all there other than that if this is your first time in the channel if you ah yes teamwork black lace with the sub thank you so much for the sub can we get a hashtag for the kids in chat spam it up boys and girls um if this is your first time in the channel if you have any questions for me i will try to get to them all make sure to tag at origin pc in chat so that i see it pop up on my screen nice and bright i am reading three chats at once so it gets a little crazy but i will try to get to all your questions i promise you this i promise you how's the music volume in comparison to my voice friends just wanted to check yes if you want to see the specs throughout type exclamation point specs margaret crone in the house this is the most partner twitch streamers i've ever i've ever seen come out for any live build so that is awesome for you man that means that you have a lot of support from within your community for you that's fantastic margaret great to see you music is fine perfect perfect Cool. I should have probably filled up my water bottle. Uh, John's going to get started. What are you doing now? Taking out the PSU shot? Yeah, I'm just taking it all apart. He's going to prep the case for building. Then he's going to zoom in on the motherboard once he starts prepping for that. I cannot manage Mixer today as it's blocked on campus for some reason. No problem, Mnemonic. Great to see you too. Saw Origin PCC has tweet. Sweet. Of course, he is the man. You like me. You really like me. Do you deliver to the UK? Yes, we do. We deliver worldwide. Visit Goose, are you doing all right, man? You don't. You don't sound like you're doing all right. Let me put you in timeout, friend. There you go. Maybe you'll behave. 
How you doing, Mix Your Family? Good to see you all. Evil Red Drache. AMG, I, Steven. Good to see you, man. Mnemonic Man, how are you, friend? Guess what? I'm here. What's up, Jeffo? How you doing, man? What's this for? We're building this system for Man vs. Game. John, you know what? Can you raise the camera a little bit and kind of aim it downward into the PC? Just so we can get all that stuff in the background out. Yeah, that's better. Beautiful. Yeah, that's good. That's a good look. Specs are beastly. Syntax, how you doing, man? Can't wait to see it in action on the cast. Yeah, neither can we. How much for this PC? Okay, we can get right to it while John's prepping the case. Let's go ahead and do that. This is the thing we do at every live build. We try to... Let me move this to the side. We'll spec out the system live for you guys. And then I'll add it to the spec command so it just pops up all the time. www.originpc.com Shameless plug. Shameless. First game I will play will be Minesweeper. I really want to push the limits of those 1080s. <laughs> I love it. It don't have a cost. Yeah, we're going to do that right now. <laughs> Could you rewire, rewire my girlfriend with these specs and how fast is the power off? That's, uh, that's rude. I'm sure she doesn't appreciate that day after Valentine's Day. All right. Exclusive window capture, and boom, here we are. Hello, welcome to OriginPC.com. Let's move this down to... Huh? There we go. Make a little expand. Professional streamer at work. Careful, friends. Careful. There it is. All right, so we're here at OriginPC.com. Let's get into it. OriginPC, you go into gaming. Boom. Okay. Um, up here, this is what we're building. We're building a Millennium, an NVIDIA battle box for Man vs. Game. Um, uh, NVIDIA was kind enough to promote the crap out of this for us, so this is the NVIDIA battle box. Um, they provided us the GPUs that we're using, um, among many other things. So the NVIDIA battle box is a special SKU that we have on our website, um, and it's essentially just an NVIDIA powered system, which this system will be. Uh, Man vs. Game will talk about more, more about that on his unboxing. Um, but let's... Let's do it just as a standard Millennium, because I think there's a different price for it. And we want to get the right price for you as a customer, what you would purchase. So here, when you, when you get to this screen, you get to choose your orientation. The cool thing about our case, this is our custom case that we make here, is that it has variable mounting. It's a patented technology that only we here at Origin PC offer on the one case. Um, this case can be um, have different orientations on it, four different orientations, in fact. So there's a standard, which you're looking at right now, which is with the window on the left side. If you wanted, you could also make it inverted, which would make the window onto the other side. There it is. Everything looks upside down because that's how it would work. You would kind of flip it. The window would be on the other side. Um, so that just depends on where you have your case on your desk. If you want to look at the, the hardware and it's on this side, you'd probably want it inverted. Or if you had it on your right side, it would be standard. Then there's also 90 degree standard. 90 degree, everything is on vertically. Right? And then there's 90 degree inverted, which is the same thing, but on the other side. Let's go with standard for this case. Moving right along. Uh, this is a black on black system, but on this screen, you choose the color of the case. You choose whether you want it custom. Hydro dipped, which is kind of like a carbon fiber look. It's pretty neat. Black, you get to choose the interior color. Black, red, or white. You get the, the black, black case with the red internals. is pretty awesome. I always love this look. Uh, but man went with black on black, so let's go with that. There's a laser action option there, but I'm not going to click it just yet. Moving right along. Uh, before you work on the motherboard, let me finish this, all right? So Z370 is the chipset that we went with. We're choosing that. That's where the 8700K lies. Scrolling down. Uh, VR panel, something new that we offer. It would go in your drive bay and it has all the VR ports that would normally be on the back of your system on the GPU right in the front to save you some slack on your VR headset. It's pretty awesome. It's 850 watt EVGA Supernova. Black sleeved cables. The motherboard we don't carry here, but it's equivalent to an Asus ROG Maximus. Um, but it's the EVGA Z370. The Origin Frostbite 360 sealed liquid cooling unit, which I'll get more into later. But it's essentially liquid cooling um, without having to do any maintenance or anything on it. Super easy installation. Fantastic. 
Intel Core i7 8700K, six core at 3.7 gigahertz with a 4.7 gigahertz turbo boost and 12 whole threads. Good stuff. Uh, we went with dual 1080s, boom, choose those. 32 gigabytes of 266, or, or 3000 probably, yeah, there it is. Two by 16, Windows 10 Home. We have a 500 gigabyte SSD, there it is, bam. For the second hard drive, we had a two terabyte, two terabyte Seagate, there it is, boom. And what else? Okay, we gotta scroll down. This is all the hard drives you can choose. We have a hot swap bay that we can stick as many hard drives in as you want that comes with the case if you so decide. Um, and those are right here. We have the cage, which is the standard. Then we have the hot swap, which is, uh, it comes with these. Do we have it here? If I can show them? The hot swap? No, I don't have it. Uh, no, okay, so we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna have to get the hot swap to, to show them that. Um, and we're gonna, we'll show that off later in the stream. But it's essentially a lockable tray that you can pull out, put a hard drive in, pop it in, and it pops up on your screen as if you were just installing a standard USB drive. It's pretty neat. And then you can get to pick a sound card if you want a sound card, a network card if you want a NIC card, a capture card if you wanted that. The maximum protection shipping, the wooden crate armor, comes with all the systems, all the desktops anyways. For the warranty, we're going with the max, boom. All this stuff stays standard. So, $4,478. That is how much this PC comes out to. Let me add that to the... $4,778. Right? 400... No, 478. There we go. 478. And I'll add that to the other one as well. MSRP. Boom. Copy pasta. Save that, go to build here, bam, and boom. And save. All right, cool, so now it's available in the command as well. Let's close that. And now, okay, cool, let's close this too. Boom. Remove, remove. Okay, so now John's gonna prep the motherboard. John, can you put the camera a little bit closer to it so you can see what you're doing? The battle box would be the same price as well. The cool thing about the battle box is that it comes with, um, you get a nice little Nvidia badge, which is pretty neat. And you're giving that away for free? Yes, this is a partnership system, so we're giving this to man. So John's already put the CPU in it looks like. That's more than some people's cars. Is that how little car, I guess a used car, right? Can be around 4,000. You have the hot swap cage so I can show it off? Yeah, he already put in the CPU. Yeah, man versus game is gonna crush some faces with this PC for sure. John's gonna hand me the hot swap bay right now. That's why my arm's up, I'm not just, I'm, just, I'm not just normally like this. I really want a light hub system so all my shit can go crazy when someone subs. That's pretty cool, that would be awesome. I wonder, I think we could. He could probably sync somehow when he gets a sub for a system to go nuts. Because it's all uh, software based now. Use car for 4K as possible, yeah. Wolf's go raw, how you doing, man? How do you stress test the system before shipping? We do overnight testing. Um, two to three day overnight testing, I believe. Where we run it through a bunch of benchmarks. We run it through GPU benchmarks, uh, CPU benchmarks. Thank you so much. So this is the hot swap bay I was talking about. So this goes in the front of the system. Now, if you have mechanicals or SSDs, this works with SSDs too, right, John? Uh, not that one. Not this one? Okay. So this one's just for mechanical drives or SSHDs. Um, so you'd slip them in there, you close this up, boom, and it would pop up right on your screen as if it were like you just plugged in a USB. And it comes with these locks. So if you are private about your data, you can have them locked to keep the key on you at all times. Here you go, man. Loose Lynn, what's going on, man? How you doing, good sir? Good to see you. Dual 1080s, yes, correct. Dual 1080s in the system. Someone asked me how many subs we have right now. That's a great question. Let's take a look. How many subscribers does Origin PC have right now? Probably not that many. Or maybe, maybe a fair amount. Who knows? 
What is it? Uh, the new dashboard's so confusing to me. Stats? No, that's not it. 64 subscribers. There we go. 64 subs. Wow. 64 humans. Supporting the children of St. Jude. Much love. Thank you, guys. And when will man get his hands on it? That's a fantastic question. So, after this build, it's going to go directly into integration. During the integration process... Oh, John's going to plug that in real quick. During the integration process where we install the OS, we update all the drivers. If man were to reach out to me and say, hey, can you add Steam on there? Or uh, Uplay or EA Origin, whatever he might want on it, we can add it then as well. Uh, we can add whatever you want. It's your personal preference. Other than that, if you say, I just want my system to come as is, it's gonna go installed with Windows and the drivers, and that's absolutely it. We don't add any bloatware or anything. Another fantastic addition, which Man vs. Game will also have for owning an Origin PC, and anyone that has an Origin PC can have, is 24-hour lifetime customer support. So with your purchase of an Origin PC, you get 24-hour lifetime customer support. It's all based here in the US as well, so you can be gaming at three o'clock in the morning, have a computer question or have some sort of issue with your PC, give us a call and someone will be available to help you oh, at whatever yay. time. Asimov with the subscription. Thank you so much for supporting the kids of St. Jude. Can we get a hashtag for the kids in chat? Has any live build featured custom liquid cooling? Yes, we have done it in the past um, and we probably will do it again in the future. Thank you so much for the subs. Is the answer always hit it with a hammer? No, it's always turn it off and turn it back on again. That's the proper tech support answer. John, can you fix the cam, please, sir? <clears throat> are we hiring? In fact, we are. We just had a new job posting go up. We just had a new job posting go up on OriginPC.com. Now, keep in mind, we are based here in the U.S. of A. and in Miami, Florida. Speaking of which, I wanted to say something real quick. Um, let me find, let me see the job posting real quick. So the job posting is for a... Computer, computer manufacturing QA manager. This is essentially a quality assurance manager. Um, all of our systems have to pass a heavy duty QA process before going out to a customer. So that's what we're hiring for right now, as well as there's some other positions. But you can check that out at originpc.com. Uh, scroll down and you'll see the careers tab. You can also email your resume to careers at originpc.com. So real quick, guys, I want to touch on something, and I didn't want to get down on it because I know it's probably going to come up at some point now that I mentioned that we live in Florida. There was a horrendous thing that happened in Florida yesterday, um, and we just here at Origin PC wanted to express our love and condolences to those families that were affected by this horrible, horrible tragedy. Um, it's really sad. It really brought a lot of us down, um, and it's so close to home, which is why we're even bringing it up. Uh, it's really just... a maybe like less than 100 miles away from us that this all occurred. So very, very sad about all that. And um, yeah, we express our love and condolences to everyone affected by this horrible, horrible thing. But that's it, I don't wanna to get too much into it to bring, bring down everybody. Um, okay, back to the build. John John is gonna prep all the case cables now. Rosers, take it easy, man. Come on. Come on, mixer guy. Man is a Jedi. He is a Jedi. If you want to find out, I don't want to talk about it too much, but if you want to find out, just look up what happened yesterday in Florida. I don't want to get into it too deeply. We just want to express our, our love for those. Dang, that new position would be perfect for me. Get down here to Miami, dude. <laughs> Too many cables. It's just it's just the beginning. That will that will surely get fixed. Look at the state of your glasses. What does that mean? 
Are they really bad? They probably look awful. Does Origin use proprietary cases? We use our own case. Yes. Is there any games you guys are looking forward to this year? Fantastic question, and so many. Um, really looking forward to God of War coming out very shortly, right? And very much looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm such a huge RDR fan. Um, I'm so excited for Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I can't believe it got pushed back again, but whatever. What are you going to do? What else am I excited for? There is Far Cry 5 coming out very soon. Final Fantasy for the PC. Very much looking forward to that. I am looking forward to... I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not too sure which games are coming out in 2018 or not. I think Crowfall might come out this year. I'm really looking forward to Crowfall. Uh, Pantheon might come out later this year. I'm really looking forward to that. That's all I can think of. Will RDR be console only? Unfortunately... I think it's going to be console only. Sea of Thieves, that's another really good one. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hit or miss. I've seen some people play it, and I'm like, oh, I think I've seen enough. <laughs> I don't know if I want to play. Monster Hunter World, that's awesome. Make sure to leave the cables all tangled and in complete disarray so that it is nice, goes nicely with my streaming area. <laughs> Wait till you see this, man. After it's done, the cable management is superb. Monster Hunter World for PC, yes, Dark Souls Remastered. You know what I really want to play is Shadow of Colossus Remastered. I never played the original Shadow of Colossus, um, and now I have the opportunity to play it remastered on, on uh, in nice high-definition quality, so I think I might pick that up over the weekend. I never played it. I don't even know what the gameplay's like. I just, everyone talks and says such great things about that game. Do you guys sell components? We don't, unfortunately. We just sell full PCs. And these are all custom built to order PCs. I look like Harry Potter. I don't I guess I'll take that as a compliment. I don't think Harry Potter looks this rough though. <laughs> Harry Potter Harry Potter's a kid. I'm a crappy old man. Um so yeah, Shadow of Colossus, that's one I'm really looking forward to trying. It's really good. Excellent. Final Fantasy 15 does come out on PC and it comes out in just a few days. Oh no, now March 6th is when it comes out. I will definitely be hitting up Monster Hunter World on PC. It's going to be effing gorgeous. I can't wait till you see it on this system, man. They, yeah, we do sell the AIO separately. That's right. You the best. What's up, everybody? I'm Mixer. GTA 6? Oh, man. <laughs> if they release a GTA 6, Anthem if it ever comes out. Yeah, Anthem if it ever comes out. I don't think that's going to come out in uh, 2018, though. I mean, maybe. I doubt it, though. What's up, Tyler Thomas? How you doing, man? If you have all not played Subnautica, it's awesome. That's another really good one. That came out already. If you guys haven't played Subnautica, I highly recommend trying it. Uh, me and Tom, my friend Tom, DD Bleak, who may or may not be in chat, but always gets mad that I just refer to him as my friend. He's another member of the Origin PC family. He's our events coordinator here at Origin PC. Him and I just started playing uh, Miscreated yesterday, which is pretty cool. Another early access zombie survival game. It's kind of old. It's been in early access for a long time. But man, that's a fun game. He's running around. Cool. So if you see that, if you join our Discord community and you ever want to play any games with any of us at Origin PC, we're always in there. I'm playing a lot of RuneScape and Miscreated right now. Two older games, but... That's what I'm playing right now. But if any new games that come out, you guys want to play together, we're more than happy. We have a ton of channels. We have a very active community in our Discord. Uh, it's discord.gg slash OriginPC. It's scrolling down here in that scroll bar. OriginPC, is he shielded against static electricity? Yes, he has a, the strap on his ankle. Um, but here's a fun fact. We only do that here because we have to. Because <laughs> we're a company. But when uh, so before I started working at Origin PC, I built a ton of systems, and I never ever used one because we're in Florida, which is extremely humid, and the chances of getting a static shock is very very little. I've only experienced maybe two or three in my lifetime, and never during a PC build. Subnautica looks neat. There's a small indie game to check out called Crossing Souls. It has a good 80s vibe to it. Ooh, I'll have to take a look at that, Helios. That sounds cool. I love anything with the 80s vibe. 
Zombie game, early access for a long time. We're talking about DayZ. It might as well be DayZ. It's DayZ on steroids, I'd like to say. It's really cool. RuneScape, you mean run escape. Yeah, definitely. Just don't build on a carpet. Yeah, there you go. Colorado. I've been to Colorado a few times, and static is insane over there. I don't think I've ever not experienced static. If I order a PC, does it come with Cuban coffee? If you request it, I will personally make it for you. I make one hell of a Cuban coffee. I've always personally done the touch the case thing, yeah. What's in the box? What's in the box? Those cases look wicked, thank you. Do we sell those? You only sell those pre-made? Yeah, so we, we're we custom built to order company. So what that means is you go on the website or you talk to our sales rep. Luce Lynn, how you doing, buddy? On my way, awesome, man. Be more than happy to make you a, a cup, my friend. Um, so that means you spec out the system with your sales rep or you can spec it out online. We put the case, we put the PC together for you then and there and integrate it. So it's all completely customizable. It's not really pre-made. We don't have them pre-made sitting in the back. But that's the only way you can get a case. Uh, I want to touch on our sales real quick. So if you guys are ever worried about contacting our sales, because I've said this a bunch of times, contact our sales and people are like, well, I don't want to get pressured into buying. That's not what we're about. Um, I, in fact, I wish we had another name for it other than sales. It is We call it sales because that's where you buy things. But I know that name kind of has a stigma behind it where it kind of pushes people away like, oh, I'm going to get forced into buying something. No, they don't work that way here. I assure you, 100% assure you. Look at me in the windows of my soul. They're not like that, I swear. Um, so you can contact them and say, hey, so-and-so, so here's my budget. I can't go over this amount. Uh, these are the games that I play. Um, this is also, I also do some light office work. I also do some photo editing for fun. What kind of specs? I don't know anything about computers. What specs do I need and can you stay under my budget? And they will be more than happy to spec that out for you to your liking. They probably know the exact game you're playing because they're probably playing it themselves. We're all gamers here. Um, so they'll make sure that it runs flawlessly for you with whatever specs that they choose. Um, they're very, very, very knowledgeable. You guys have the best PCs on earth? Thank you so much, that is beautiful. Are you building this on carpet? We are on carpet, yes. That MOBO looks sick as hell, yes. We love the uh, EVJ motherboard, it's fantastic. Again, big shout out to NVIDIA. Huge shout out to NVIDIA for uh, helping us out with this build. Those guys are amazing, individual group. If you guys don't know who NVIDIA is, uh, they're kind of a little startup company. They make these graphics cards, I think they're called. I know they're not too big yet. I know you may not have heard of them, but go and check them out and give them some love sometime. Yeah, we do ship worldwide, so we're familiar with VAT taxes. Eddie Ruckus, what's up, man? Damn, you get a hell of a delay, don't you? Kind of. I'm also reading stuff that's still floating at the very top. Now they're an automatic car driving company now. <laughs> are you connected to Origin Games somehow? We are not. And please do not call our support telling us that your Sims 3 is not working properly. Unless it's running on our PC. We don't care. <laughs> uh, it's a funny story. We get that all the time. Um, we get support calls all the time like, Oh, your EA Origin is crap. And we can't run. Uh, we can't run Battlefield. The Battlefield is not downloading properly and I can't install it. It's not us, man. It's not us. It's not our problem, all right? If, you're, if your Battlefield is not running properly on your Origin PC, then it is an issue, and we will get that adjusted for you. Other than that, I apologize sincerely. And also, we will not transfer you. <laughs> We've gotten that too. Like, sorry, man, we're not EA Origin. Oh, oh, my apologies. Can you transfer us then, please? Pin King with a $5 donation for the kids of St. Jude. Hashtag for the kids. Are there any discounts for military? Yes, we have a military promotion. Um, you can contact our sales team. You can either email them or call them. And you can let them know, hey, I have a, um, I have my military ID. I can show it to you guys. What's the promo? And they'll let you know. Cryptocurrency mining is jacking up the prices of all GPUs. Very true. But here's a, here's a fun fact. Although that might be true for the do-it-yourself crowd, um, which is a crowd that we appreciate and love because we're all do-it-yourself people as well. 
and we've always supported the do-it-yourself community. It's very sad what's going on with the cryptocurrency mining and, and the GPU prices skyrocketing, but the fact that we're partners with NVIDIA, uh, companies like NVIDIA, AMD, and all the other GPU manufacturers, uh, they kept the price flat for us. So what that in turn means is that we didn't have to raise the prices for our customers, um, which is something that we were trying to avoid greatly. Of course, we love the gaming community and we love PC gamers, and we didn't want this to affect our passion for gaming and, and our customers' passion for gaming, so we kept our prices the same. I'm gonna go catch some sleep. I'm gonna have to catch to finish the VOD later, Vinix. No problem. We will be up on YouTube after the build, so. I hosted you. Thank you, Gloomy. Much love, man. Thank you for all the follows happening over on Mixer. Mixer fam, you're all beautiful, beautiful people. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. The weekend is just around the corner, friends. A nice long, long weekend. Anyone uh, doing anything for this three-day weekend? If you do have the luxury of a three-day weekend. Nice. Man, are we on the Mixer front page? I think we might be. Because we do have a lot of people watching. And we are! Thank you very much, Mixer family, for putting us on the front page again. What love and support we get over from Mixer. You're all amazing. Can I buy a GPU from you at MSRP? No, unfortunately, we can't. I'm going to South Beach! I'm taking my talents to South Beach. Plan on getting a nice 144 hertz monitor for this beast. Man, if you're going to go with like a... I would recommend for gaming. A 4K looks absolutely beautiful. But I think the sweet spot right now for gaming in between quality and looks is a 1440p monitor. Even 1080p. 4K is great, but just the fact that you it's really hard to find 144 hertz and G-Sync available on one of those bad boys um, is what steers me away from doing 4K PC gaming. But... Um, I could send you some recommendations of some awesome monitors that I enjoy. For sure, get G-Sync. G-Sync and 144 hertz is beautiful. Unemployed, so every weekend is a three-day weekend. <laughs> nice, Demonic Man. I miss those days. You mean every week is a weekend? What type of PC is that? This is our Origin PC Millennium desktop. Uh, now that we have a few people in here, Now we have a few people in here. Let's talk about the specs again real quick. So we're building an Origin PC Millennium for Man vs. Game. Uh, one of my favorite streamers. Make sure to catch him at twitch.tv slash man vs. Game if you haven't already. I mean, the guy's a legend. He's hilarious. One of my favorite casts to watch. to just sit back and laugh. Um, we has, he has an 850-watt EVJ Supernova G3 powering the whole system with an EVJ Z370 FTW motherboard, an Origin Frostbite 360, Intel Core i7 6 core 8700K, dual, dual 8 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080s, 32 gigabyte Origin PC approved, which is HyperX, HyperX Fury DDR4 RAM, a 500 gigabyte Samsung Evo SSD, and a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda. Uh, since we don't have the panels ready, I'll show you how the system's gonna look when it does complete. We're also gonna post pictures all over social media before we ship it out. But that's how it's going to look. The The aluminum panel is going to have his logo all nice and textured. So he's actually going to be able to run his hands across his logo and feel it. Feel it. Um, on the on the window panel, he's got his 8-bit 8 man versus game sitting on the corner there. So that's pretty cool. Um, do not forget to tune in tomorrow. Please tune in tomorrow to Origin PC Live. Origin PC Live is our talk show that we do every Friday at 4 p.m. EST. Uh, we do it on Twitch, we do it on Mixer, we do it on Facebook. Um, our special guest tomorrow is none other than Towel the Tank. Uh, we've been working with Tally for a very long time and we're very happy to have him on the show. So tune in tomorrow, catch us. Also, don't forget to participate in the post of the week challenge that we posted. Uh, this is something we do for every Friday's episode. The funniest, most creative answer for the post of the week challenge gets called out on the episode and wins a digital game key. So very, very, very awesome stuff. Permanent move to Miami, make it Liquid Swords. Liquid Swords! You going live on YouTube? We might do that in the future, not right now though. Don't forget to bring a towel.
I have no idea what's going on. Right now, he's doing the cable management in the back. Kind of getting everything prepped. What's a computer? I'm going to win that one of these days. Yeah, right. Mnemonic, you've won almost every one of them. Is the 8700K much better than the 7700K? Yes. Um, this is... So, Intel's that line... What I would call the, uh... What's the, what's this, the socket type? The, the number? The regular number? Uh, no, no, the, like the socket size. Oh, uh, 1150? 1150. The 1150 socket size has been Intel's kind of gaming socket size, right? And this one fits into that category. For the most part, for the past few years, they've been quad cores with eight threads. This is the first time they've done it. Um, six cores with 12 threads. And you can overclock this thing safely to five gigahertz easily anyone can do it and make it very stable and it's it's just a beautiful beautiful cpu highly recommended to anyone that's looking to upgrade does or bc channel have any other content other than pc building yes uh so we do we do some gameplay every now and again um I'm going to probably be doing some Final Fantasy and some Far Cry when it comes out. Um, and we have our live show every Friday. Our live show is every Friday. It's kind of like a... Think of ESPN, but for nerds. Any ESPN show where it's just two analysts talking. That's what me and Kevin, our CEO, Origin PC CEO, who's probably in chat right now. That's what we do. We just sit there and we chat about nerdy things. Movies, video games, technology. Um, we have a special guest that we bring on. We ask them a bunch of questions about... If they're a streamer, we ask them about the channel. If they're a game dev, we ask them about their game. Um, hardware industry people, whatever whatever it might be. Um, and that's pretty much all we do on our channel right now. We're going to be upping our... If people want to see us do more gameplay stuff, I'd be more than happy to do it. We just Every time we've done it in the past, it hasn't really gotten that much of a, a traction. But then again, we have grown quite significantly since we did our last one. So we might be trying again. Nerdballing. <laughs> He's always here, watching. Hey, what show to poppin', man? Any plans on entering India or franchising? Uh, that's, you know, we've always wanted to expand and we always want to grow. Always. Um, but we have no plans in the near future to do any of that. But we always, you know, that's what's what company's main goal, isn't it? To grow and expand. So who knows? But hopefully. To my Facebook friends, I know I have been neglecting you, but I love you guys. Hope you're doing well. Mm. Speaking of giveaways, the giveaway that we've been hinting at for so long, uh, for those of you that tuned in last week, we built Lyric. I don't know if you guys know who Lyric is. He's a very small streamer. Hasn't, hasn't been doing it for that long. But we built him a new streaming PC. Um, and we're going to give away his old streaming PC. It's going to be a worldwide giveaway. We're probably going to be launching that either tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, stay tuned for the exact date. Um, but we're going to have a landing page with that you can visit and sign up for the giveaway. It's an awesome... It's our Kronos, which is our small form factor. It's about the size of an Xbox. Um, right now, it is strictly a streaming PC. It's got a 6700K and a capture card in it. Now, the 6700K has onboard graphics. If you did win it and you're like, look, I don't really need a second streaming PC. I do need a new gaming PC. You can, I'll reach out to you and I'll be like, hey, what do you want to do with this? They say, hey, I want to buy a 1070 from you guys and put that in there. Or a 1060 or a 1080 or a 1080 Ti. And we'll, we'll swap it out for you. Or if you have a GPU at home that you just want to put in there, you can easily do that. We'll walk you through it uh, via support. But yeah, we're going to launch that soon. So stay tuned and watch. Lyric sounds like a nice guy. What a nice guy. Does Summit have an Origin PC? He does not. Hopefully he will in the future, though. We love Summit. I, su I support small streamers. I'll check this Lyric guy out. <laughs> I just need to win more chicken dinners. Don't we all, buddy? Yeah, we sell all sorts of shirts and hats. We sell this hat here. We sell our Eat Sleep Game Repeat shirt, which none of us are wearing right now. It would be awesome if we were. They don't sell this shirt that I'm wearing, no. This is an exclusive t-shirt. Exclusive. Does this case have RGB lighting in included? Does it? Boy, does it. Yes, it does. Um, it's really cool because it syncs with the motherboard. So you use the motherboard software to tweak the RGB lighting. Or it comes with a remote. You can tweak it that way. But yes, full RGB. 
Does Man vs. Game have an origin PC? Not yet, but he will very soon. This is it. This is it. John's cable management is so relaxing to watch, isn't it? How old can a PC be to be a solo streaming PC? Uh, you can you can probably get away with doing an older PC. You wouldn't get much benefit unless the CPU is pretty good, at least a quad core. But it's always good to have a secondary streaming PC when you're streaming because then your one game can focus all on the gaming while your secondary one can focus all on the streaming. Is this Ryzen or Intel? This is an Intel PC. Will you sponsor me? I'm almost at one sub. <laughs> Are you almost at one sub? You should check out a fairly small streamer called Six Max. I will. I'll check him out sometime. What's the difference between an Origin Frostbite liquid cooling and the Cryogenic Stage 3 liquid cooling? So, uh, the Frostbite liquid cooling, can you hand me that real quick? Here, let me show you a picture real quick. I'll show you a few, a few things. Let me go to our Instagram page. Instagram.com slash origin bc you're not you're not the page i was looking for there you are oh i i apologize for the sniffles hopefully this will end soon i'll leave this off to here so you can still see what john's doing real quick i'm gonna put this over all this stuff so first of all here's our, our drake meme <laughs> it's hilarious. So, uh, liquid cooling. Let me show you an example of cryogenic cooling. So this is cryogenic stage two cooling. Okay, so what these are soft tubes. Uh, these are all custom loops. So all these tubes are cut and hand measured by our manufacturers. Um, this has a separate reservoir and a separate pump where you put in the liquid coolant, right? And the liquid coolant then runs through all the loops, would run through your GPU, would run back up to the CPU, back into the pump, back into the radiators to cool it, etc., etc. Then we also have stage three, which is the hardline liquid cooling. Hardline liquid cooling is the same thing, but these are hard acrylic tubes that are bent and hand measured by our manufacturing team as well. I um, mean, these just aesthetically look beautiful. Like you can see some of these builds, they're absolutely phenomenal. They look gorgeous. Um, but this is our, our top tier top of the high high end top of the line stuff here's some more of the soft tubing examples there's another soft tube here's another soft tube here's um here's origin pc ceo and mighty mouse demetrius mighty mouse johnson ufc's most dominant champ visiting us at our ces suite very awesome to have him there okay and then our frostbite 360 which is my personal favorite just because i'm lazy and i like things to be easy it would be this. So this is our... Well, actually, just hand it to me, John. Let me do it that way. Let me show show you the real thing. Oh, cool. Look, Streamception. All right. Let me turn this. Get this out of here. Get that out of here. How was I not following? <laughs> CEO in the house. All right. So this is our Origin Frostbite 360. What this is, is a sealed all-in-one liquid cooler. So this doesn't have a reservoir. Doesn't have a... It has the pump right in here already the liquid coolant is already inside it comes already inside um, the radiator sits at the top it runs the liquid to the tubes cools your cpu on this bad boy what's great about these is that there's no maintenance involved whatsoever they're super reliable here john super reliable lasts for a very long time yeah dust off the fans every once in a while but that's it and they're awesome and they keep it just as cool I'm a huge, huge fan of the all-in-one coolers, for sure. No maintenance is best maintenance. Yeah, it's super plug and play. You just install the fans, you plug it into the your, your fan port, and boom, you're good to go. Will you guys be at PAX East? We certainly will. Um, I will probably be there personally, more than likely, as will uh, possibly Kevin, possibly Tom, maybe even John here. Uh, we don't know the exact people that are going yet, um, but we would love to see you all there if anyone's going to be there. Uh, we're going to have our system spread out throughout the show floor. We're going to announce that all over social media as, the, as well. Maybe we'll even do an Origin PC family meetup if anyone wants to meet up and hang out.
Where are we at now, John? Let me turn you up. Uh, well, the board's in. Most of the cables have been run uh, and somewhat managed. Um, Betty, nice. I'm going to go through and install the power supply okay. and the video cards and the hard drives. Cool. So up next, we got hard drives, GPUs, and then power supply. I'm out of water. How do I get a live build? So, the first ever live build we did was for, for Tally about three to four years ago. Um, during that live build, it was the first time we ever did it. We didn't know it was going to work. It was wildly successful. And I mentioned in that live build that we're willing to do live builds for anyone. If you're a customer and you want a live build, just let us know. Little did we know that everyone was going to request it. So we had to put a prompt stop to that. Because that would mean that we would be doing live builds nonstop. And the customers would never get their PCs. Because we purposely slow these down. Um, we talk through the entire live build. I would be exhausted. So right now we only do them for special occasions. For example, Man vs. Game getting sponsored by us. Or if we have like a major event system. Something like that that we want to show off. If we're doing a big giveaway system. Uh, there are times when I will pull a random customer system and do a live build. Uh, but those are few and far between. If a moderator wanted a live build, what would you say to that? I don't know. We'd have to think about it. <laughs> I'd be more shocked if you weren't wearing a Batman shirt. Is Man vs. Game wearing a Batman shirt? I'm actually wearing a Batman shirt. Yes, he is. <laughs> One live build, please. Um, anyone watching, if you would be so kind to bring me a water, I'd absolutely adore you. Just a regular cup of water is fine. I am parched. Actually, I'll just go out and get it. Hold on. John, can you talk for a little bit while I grab fill my water bottle? Will you say funny things to the people? Funny things? I'll be our bee friends. Funny things! When I say talk, I mean like, say stuff, say what you're doing. I'm putting in the power supply. We chat and communicate with good people. They're not scary. Yeah, I know. They won't bite. Alright, folks. Putting in the power supply. Put, put, plugging all the bits in. Some extra power cables for the video cards. Let's see. These are well, eight. all right. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Everything is better with Taco Bell. And burrito. Nacho burrito. Hello. Hey, Pin. Just got off with Origin PC sales, and it looks like my Genesis is shipping tomorrow. Fantastic! Welcome to the Origin PC family. What chipset are we working with? This is a Z370 chipset. Split the wig. Just out of curiosity, how much is this guy's build? This guy's build. Man vs. Games build is around $4,000, I believe. Um, but this is a pretty high-end system. These are, this does not reflect the normal prices. Um, but you can go to OriginPC.com, spec it however you want. Or you can, easier, the best way to do it is call our sales team or email them. Tell them your budget. Say, I really don't want to go over this. But I play these games. I do this with my PC. Can you spec something out for me? And they'll happily do that for you.
Neo, da 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 da, Sporin, da da ba da da da. You can build this for 2k? Good luck. <laughs> That's how much one of your GPUs will cost. Where do you shop for GPUs? <laughs> where, where are you getting your RAM and GPU at? Because that's where I need to go. For real? Yeah. Let him, let him talk. It's alright. We don't mind it. For who are you building those computers all the time? So this one's for a sponsor, Man vs. Game, who's sitting in chat right now. Wave hello! Um, but normal PCs that we build are just for computers. Is there anything you won't say? Oh, we get it all the time. It's alright. There's always one. Don't forget to, so here, here's a cool thing, um, of course, with between do-it-yourself, just building it yourself, and buying from a builder, there's going to be a markup, it is a company, um, but what are the benefits, is the question that we get, what are the benefits, why wouldn't I just build it myself? Well, to a lot of people, time is money, and time is important, and taking a PC, especially if you're not experienced, may take some time. Also, during the process of building, you may come across an issue with the hardware, um, or maybe two pieces of hardware and let's say your motherboard is from EVGA and your Your hard drive is from Samsung. You'd have to send your motherboard over to EVGA and then your Hard drive to Samsung and then wait forever for the RMA, RMA process to happen to get them back or if an issue were to happen at all So the first benefit that I always talk about is the fact that you only have a one-stop shop for any issues that may arise uh, The system already comes to you ready to go. First of all, it's already been tested thoroughly um, it's already been run through the grinder to make sure it runs up to snuff. So that's a huge benefit. The unboxing experience is a ton of fun. I know it doesn't mean a lot to a lot, a lot of people, but it's a great, it's a fun experience when you invest in something and you get this awesome big wooden crate that you have to open and you see all these extra goodies you get inside. Um, and then our 24 hour lifetime customer support, which is undeniably just crazy. Uh, for the lifetime that you have an Origin PC, all you have to do is give you a number. That number you can call at whatever time of day you are playing a video game or on your computer or whatever you are doing. Even if you have just a simple question, a simple computer question, you can give us a call. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's watch this real quick. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Oh. Uh, so you can call our support line at whatever time of day. And it's all here based in the U.S. So one of us is going to answer the phone call and help you out with whatever issues. So those are just some of the just some of the benefits that you get from ordering from a PC company. I've got that. Do we ship outside of the U.S.? Yes, we ship worldwide. Worldwide. Worldwide! Hero, hero. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to catch up to chat real quick. Hero, hero. Mm -hmm. Alright, nothing. Kuzi, what's the make model of the cabling and sleeving? It's uh, EVGA's own black sleeved cables. Yeah. Custom cables. Prestige worldwide! <laughs> you guys can peel all the plastic. I can't wait till you see that logo, man. I think you're gonna love it. What's your favorite case on Origin PC? Uh, our Millennium. This one that we're building right here is my favorite. I'm a big fan of all our cases, though. Our Genesis is essentially just this with an extra bottom bay, so it makes it a bit taller. Uh, in that bottom bay is usually where we put the radiators for liquid cooling. 
But a lot of people ask, do you need... Do you need to do liquid cooling when you get a Genesis? No. That bottom bay can also put hard drive bays into it, where you can store, like, an absurd amount of hard drives. 12 uh, standard drives? And 12, 12 standard drives and how many SSDs? 24 SSDs or 12 standard drives in that big bottom bay. Um, our Kronos is really awesome, too, for, like, a small portable PC that you can take with you um, or a living room PC. Uh, Laptop-wise, our Evo 15S is a thin and light, which I absolutely love. Our Eon 15S is our, our entry-level laptop, really affordable, um, awesome for gaming on the go. Our 17 SLX is our big mama laptop. It's our desktop replacement. You can actually put two 1080s in SLI in a laptop and get a desktop CPU on that same laptop. So perfect if you travel a lot and you want to take your gaming stuff with you. That's what you would get. As long as you don't forget the SLI bridge. We will not forget it this time. How long does the build take? Uh, so normally, if it's just a standard build, if it's just being built by our manufacturers, something like this would probably take a little less than an hour. Uh, for these builds, we normally stretch it out to about two hours. Even though John's cooking through this one right now. Um, we normally stretch it out as long as we can, just so people can watch the whole process and learn. My, the first ever PC I built took me a few days. <laughs> I kept running into problems. This is when I was like 14, 15. Kuzi, I have the EVGA white custom cables and combs for my 850G3. Not impressed with the motherboard cabling as there are more than 24 cables making their combs incomplete. Have you found similar? I have not. I have not. Can't say that I have. Where's Jimmy at? <laughs> Jimmy's in the military right now. The country called on Jimmy. How much is this PC? 4,478. 129 million? You're out of your mind. I've never owned a PC with more than one video card. I'm not gonna do with all I'm not gonna know what to do with all that power. All that power! Man, one thing I need to warn you about SLI, um, and I'll talk to you about it via email. A lot of games aren't especially a lot of early access games, and I know you do play some early access titles. Or some older games are not compatible with SLI. So I'm going to have to show you how to disable it for those instances. If you're ever running into an issue with the game and you're like, what the hell is going on? That's going to be your first step, disable SLI. And luckily, a single 1080 can run pretty much anything at over 60 FPS at 1080p or 1440p. So just keep that in mind. Do you overclock these PCs by request? Yes, we do. I've never had SLI. It's it's very awesome. It's very awesome to have SLI. <laughs> when a game when a game has it compatible, like it's a, if it's a AAA title, it just came out. It's always going to be compatible with SLI. And man, that performance boost is nice. What's Origins markup labor costs? Um, I don't know the exact markup. Uh, you can always, I always tell people to do this. A lot of people, especially when they write to us, they're like, oh, I can build this for $2,000 cheaper. It's like, no, no, you can't. What you're doing is picking some generic parts. If you go and spec out a system on our on our website, look at the exact parts that are going into it. What would be the exact parts? I mean, if it's an EVGA power supply, if it's an Asus motherboard, the exact model, if it's a um, NVIDIA GPU, the exact model, the exact RAM, Go inspect that out on a site like PC Part Picker with the exact same parts. If it's if it's an EVGA thing on our side, choose the EVGA thing on that side. Choose the exact same parts, and you'll see that the price difference is not it's not that it's not that humongous of a difference as a lot of people make it seem like it is. But then you got to think the of the benefits, like I was mentioning earlier, which is the 24-hour lifetime customer support, our great warranty, our great customer service, the shop. unboxing experience, the one-stop shop. Um, all that good stuff. The fact that it was built by professionals and tested thoroughly before reaching you is always, 
always a plus as well. So there's some things to keep in mind. But it's always a fun, fun game for you to try. And then you can see exactly what the markup is. Definitely got to experience the Witcher trilogy. Man, you got... If you haven't played Witcher 3 yet, it's one of my favorite titles ever. That is such an amazing, ama man versus Witcher. Oh man, that's going to be great to watch. I will definitely be tuning in for all that. What temp is the GPU normally when playing games with intense graphics? I would say like around 70, 75, right? Right, John? Um, yeah, I mean... If it's not overclocked? Yeah, yeah, you're looking at about in the 70s for gaming. Like if you're benchmarking, like really taxing the GPU, mm -hmm. you're going to see it hit the 80s. But yeah, for gaming and stuff like that, between 60s and 70s. Nice. Yeah, that's all right. I was thinking. Kingslayer says, I love my Origin PC. I use their customer service support many times. Fast response, and they know their products inside and out. Thank you for that, Kingslayer. That's what I mean, baby. I played it for about six hours for a couple sponsored streams. I loved it. I just really, really want to play through the first two before diving into the third. I feel you. I never played the first two either. I know that it's a bit different gameplay wise. Like the combat and movement's a bit different than the third. The third was just such a well rounded project. I never even finished it. I need to finish it. Yeah. Epic Gamer Tim, what CPU, how many cores? Is it hyperthread CPU? Liquid cools? What's the GPU gigahertz? Is it heat protected? So when it overclocks, it doesn't fry. All right, let me, uh, let me try to get all those. The CPU is an 8700K. It has six cores. It has 12 threads. It is liquid cooled. Um, the GPU gigahertz. John, do you know that off the top of your head? That I don't know. Is it heat protected? Yes. Awesome, Majestic. Awesome, dude. Hope you're, hope you're enjoying that, buddy. <laughs> Witcher 3 is my goat. Did someone say the goat? Can this set, set up handle Node Wars in Black Desert Online? It should be able to, yes. Those are pretty taxing now. 3.7, I've got one. I think he asked it, the gigahertz on the GPU, which I, I don't know. If it's a CPU, yes, it's 3.7 uh, with a 4.7 turbo boost. They were asking about, someone asked about the GPU. Not the CPU, CPU on you. I think he sent me a non-K shirt, I can't overclock it. <laughs> Do all the builds get cable management? Yes, no matter the cost. Yes, 100%. Cable management is very important to us. And every build gets cable managed just as good as this one. Kingdom Come is pretty cool too if you haven't tried it. So, man, that was one I was really excited for. I heard it's still kind of rough and has a few bugs though. Is that really the case or do you think it's, it's good enough to play right now? Because I would definitely play it right now. Actually, I should hit those guys up. I would love to play it on stream. I'm going to reach out to them. They're, they're, they, I know they follow Origin PC on Twitter, so I'm going to reach out to them and see what's up. It is still pretty buggy? Okay. So I want to try it. What's up, Confirmed Dan? How you doing? Still buggy, but a really cool game. Can you say you really whiz that one in the goat voice? Sure, hold on. I love I love doing the goat. I haven't done it in a while. I'll bring it back for you guys. I'm gonna bring it back. I need to do it the right way though. Uh, with the face <laughs> do I still have the Oh I don't anymore. Damn it. Damn it, it's gone forever. No. Where'd you go, my friend? Damn it. <clears throat> What's going on, Tony? How you doing? We need a go to email. I have one. I have one on my channel. I don't have one here, though. That's why you would bring the go to life quite, quite more often than here. But maybe we should. Maybe I should bring it over here as well. 
That is not a bad idea, you know what I mean, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Gotta do the really close up goat. New man PC. Add. Where? Media. D downloads. <laughs> ah, yes! Hello, everyone! I am uh, the goat. I heard a special request for me to come out, yes. Now you really whiz that one. <laughs> How are you doing, friends? Uh, we're here at the Origin PC live build, uh, building the PCs for the Man vs. Game. <laughs> I really don't know how he is doing this cable management. You see, with my hooves, I do not have uh, the capabilities or the thumbs. Plus that stupid TB Batafuco, always messing with my horns. You button hooked it. I didn't know you were going to button, <laughs> button hook it. Ah, yes. Teamwork. All right. <laughs> it looks like me. How, how dare you? Sounds like a French goat. I'm not perfect at it. The old man with the hickory stick. <laughs> Since you work at Origin BC, do you get crazy deals on things? Um, we do get a, a an employee discount. The French commentator. Hello, yes. I should have done man versus goat. You are ugly. I know I'm ugly. You don't have to time him out for calling me ugly. Mixer mixer mods. Don't worry about it. I know I'm ugly. Let him let him say that all he wants. It's facts. My drink shot up my nose. I can't believe how old those albums are now. Be right back preparing my will. <laughs> those are very old. But they're awesome. <clears throat> those are so good. You guys going to go to the uh, the Ragu Festival? Do some mosh pitting? Huh? Yes? <laughs> gonna go on the loop diddy loops? The old man asked me where I got that picture from. I was like, no, they superimposed me. He was walking away and he was like, what superimposed? <laughs> I, I got him! That idiot! <laughs> Joke's on you, sucker. I don't have a girl. Damn right, mnemonic. Stop violating that box. He's not violating it. He's making it beautiful. John tosses zip clippings with ferocity. <laughs> Make sure he's getting his union breaks. <laughs> Does this channel give away PCs? We do give away PCs quite regularly. In fact, we're starting one probably tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, I urge you to follow us all over social media at Origin PC across everything. So twitter.com slash Origin PC, facebook.com slash Origin PC, instagram.com slash Origin PC. What am I missing? YouTube slash Origin PC, YouTube slash user slash Origin PC, sorry. Uh, Twitch, Mixer, all that good stuff. We announce it on social media whenever we do it. We usually have some sort of big push surrounding it as well. Tony, man, what is wrong with you? You've been on my back all day. I think you might be the one. <laughs> all the ladies looking at John's hands like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you ship to India? We ship world? What? Actually, though, the India is a good question. Uh, do we ship to India? It's quite possible. Yeah. I would contact our sales team to make sure. We do have our sister company, too. That's correct. We do have a sister company in Australia. Origin PC Australia. They handle all our, our Asian and Australian shipments. They handle the rest of the shrimp on the Barbies. <laughs> they handle all the shrimps on all the Barbies. I ordered my i7-8700K Origin Overclocked. Is that safe and will it decrease the life of the CPU? Extremely safe. So whenever you order overclocking from Origin PC, first of all, it's done by professionals it's done by professionals so it's it's overclocked safely right um, and we usually get it to a very stable overclock so that uh, 
Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Teamwork. Be chill with the sub. Can we get a hashtag for the kids in chat, please? Thank you so much for supporting the kids of St. Jude. I know, man. When we're on the Mixer front page, we're going to get, we're going to get, it's because the Spanky Poo, it's when we're on the front page of Mixer, we always get the, the Xbox kids that come in and, which, dude, we love Xbox also, I don't know why you feel the need to do that. Here, man, let me give you guys some advice, all right? Let me give you wonderful children some advice. I've had to do this every stream, <laughs> but look, dude, I don't know what happened in your day or how you were raised. Or how you're brought up it really doesn't matter though you make your own future all right so when you get up in the morning and you think i'm gonna go troll someone on the internet or i'm gonna be a douche because i have nothing better to do with my life think twice friends because here's my advice to you when you put out positivity into the universe you get a lot of positivity in return um and that just means a lot of things good things will happen if you if you push out that positivity Otherwise, if you're just a negative dude all the time, and you're trolling all the time, then the, what goes around comes around. And you're going to have a lot of crappy things happen in your life. And it may be, prob actually, not maybe, it probably is pretty crappy already. But it's not too late, man. You could turn things around. Believe me, you could turn things around, friend. So just, that's my advice to you. Oh, that why thing happens sometimes with uh it's not it's not really their fault i'll boss him out I'll, I'll boss him out i'll time him out so he clears good advice coos thank you real talk great advice thank you can you explain overclocking my dude sure uh john john can you explain overclocking well, in your words you're smarter than i in that overclocking yeah uh well over like what exactly do you need to know like just what it is. Yeah. Then can you explain overclock? Uh, it's basically just boosting the CPU a little higher uh, mm -hmm. using voltage um, just to get a little bit more power or uh, capability out of your CPU. Uh, in some extreme cases, you could really push your GPU or your CPU, but it'll it'll void the warranty or it'll diminish the life of the CPU. Um, but I mean, and, and there's say they, there is safe parameters out there that you can follow. For uh, overclocking, that'll uh, that'll be all right to, to give it like a slight boost for you know depending on whatever it is that you're doing. There you go. So essentially, you tweak the power going to the CPU to boost its speed. So if it's at 3.7 gigahertz, like the 8700K is, you can boost it all the way up to like 5 gigahertz pretty safely for for the 8700K. You can go even higher than that. Uh, what's the highest one recorded so far, John? Well, it yeah, it wasn't stable at all, but it was the highest recorded. Isn't it crazy? Um, they have they have like uh, liquid nitrogen cooled right. overclocks that are like seven point two, <laughs> seven point two gigahertz, like that. and it's that's with up. liquid nitrogen cooling. Um, but essentially, when you put the power into it, it does make it get hotter faster. So you have to have some good cooling to overclock. But overclocking just increases the speed to get more power out of the CPU. Yes. So instead of running at this one speed. You'd be running at like this much speed. You know what I mean? It's like roids. Right. It's like roids for your hardware. PC making looks tough as hell. It's really not. It's not that bad. Um, best like way to do it. Expensive Legos. Yeah. Expensive Legos. That's a good way to look at it. As if you're ever Lego curious about PC already. building and you, you're you like, man, I don't want to mess anything up. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a very fun experience. It's super, super cool to do. It's a great skill to learn. You can go on YouTube and watch a plethora of of videos right now that can teach you how to build PCs or you can watch one of our live builds and come in and ask us for tips 1.21 gigawatts delitted no we do not delit our CPUs no. all natural baby 7.3 gigahertz is the top so far I believe there you go yeah. Jesus all natural crow's milk <laughs> Crow's milk. Crow's milk. Fight milk. Fight milk. <laughs> Made out of crow's milk. Made out of crow bones. Crow eggs. And crow. Can I offer you a egg in these troubled times? <laughs> I 
beautiful cable management. I'm sure he appreciate, appreciates that. I do. I want to learn from Big John. Watch profit, watch your profits soar as high as a crow. <laughs> uh, four bodyguards, bye bodyguards. <laughs> uh, we got an always sunny in Philadelphia crowd in here. I love it. How do you guys get your graphics cards? Do you have special connections? Yeah, we are partnered with NVIDIA and AMD, and they didn't raise it. They keep the prices stable for us so that we would, in turn, be able to do that for our customers. Unfortunately, they just can't do that generically because then all the crypto miners would buy them all up, um, which is why the prices get raised. I don't know if it's the best strategy, but it's the strategy that they're going for right now. And it sucks for the do-it-yourself crowd, for sure. I still want to make a rum ham. That would be amazing. Cool. Do you build encoding rigs? We do. That's a hell of a PC. It sure is. Built my first PC in 2010 and never looked back. My PC graveyard is full of expensive LEGO pieces. Do you think do-it-yourself cable sleeving is worth it or just buy pre-sleeved? It's fun. It's another fun experience um, to do and you can get you can go crazy with it and add crazy designs to it. It's definitely worth it if you have the patience. It does take a lot of patience to do. Can you say my name? I feel weird just asking you stuff and not answering. Tay Tayrop? Tayrop3, did I say it right? I always I'm always scared when someone says say my name because it might be like a one of those hidden that's not spelled the way it is, and I'm gonna say something stupid. Or really bad. <laughs> you gonna end up playing Neo? Oh man, I've heard great things about that game too. Have you seen Terry Crews PC build videos? I have. I wish it could work with Terry. We tried reaching out to him. Everyone tweet, tweet at Terry Cruz and tell him to hit up Origin PC. <laughs> we would love to work with that guy. Pop. <laughs> a A Ron. What's up, man? Are you done? No. Why are you looking at me like that? Um, you. Leave the cage that's in there. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Put it, put it in. Put it, put the good one in. We'll just talk about the base. Simpsons did it first. Bart prank calling. <laughs> well, that's right. Anita Man. What was it? Amanda Hug and Kiss. That's what it was. I'm looking for Amanda Hug and Kiss. Mrs. Syntax says, hi. Hello, Mrs. Syntax. Do you find your husband's jokes as funny as I do, or do they wear on you? You can be honest. It's just you and me now. I won't tell him. <laughs> What's the most expensive PC you've built? So we built one that was close to like $40,000 once because it was a completely custom case and I'm talking about taller than I am with a crazy crazy paint job it had like four Titans in it it had like two different CPUs in it it had like 50 hard drives or something ridiculous it had over a hundred fans it had RGB everywhere it was completely custom from the ground up it was insane it was for like a Saudi they wear on me but I still love him <laughs> ah. I popped a high E string today. No, I have my guitar here. In fact, we we play. Uh, there's a few guys here at Origin PC that play guitar, and we get together during lunch and jam out every now and again. Was it Total Biscuits PC? No, that no, wasn't. Have you ever used a sound card creative? Yes, I love sound cards for sure. That sweet, sweet cable management. Yeah, this cable management looks spectacular. Spectacular. Can I send this comment that I want you to read and help me? Sure, go for it, man. So a server, not a PC, yes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Did you know that William Shatner had to discontent you? His ladies clothing brand. Apparently Shatner panties wasn't the best idea. <laughs> That's great, Helios. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh god, that was funny. Thank you for that. What's the benefits of having a sound card instead of motherboard? More port, different ports, higher sound quality most of the time, and more ports so you can use more th more things plugged directly into mixers and all sorts of nice stuff. Origin PC, what can you tell me about Amazon Prime? Boy, am I glad you asked. Friends, do you have Amazon Prime? Do you have Twitch? Did you know that you can combine your Amazon Prime account? Friends, do you have Amazon Prime? Did you know that you can combine your Amazon Prime account with your Twitch account? Um, you merge them together into one epic, cool thing called Twitch Prime. Now with Twitch Prime, you get a free subscription every month to use on whatever streamer you enjoy. If you're not using it on a streamer already, you can use it here at Origin PC. Why, you may ask? Why would I sub to a company's Twitch stream? Well, the money doesn't go to us. 100% of the proceeds that we raise during our Twitch stream go directly to the children at St. Jude. Everything we do here at Origin PC is hashtag for the kids. Whether it be from subscriptions or donations, know that your money is going to a good place. You're never, ever, ever required to do so, but know that if you do, it's for the kids. Have you ever had a PC bust up during shipping, shipping or stolen? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's never, it's never easy to ship hardware uh but it has lessened a lot since we've got in our extreme wooden crate armor which you've probably seen um, we sell it we ship our pcs in a wooden crate uh reason that we did that was because of shipping mishaps that happened over and over again b l j a r b thank you for the sub can we get a hashtag for the kids in chat hashtag for the kids thank you so much for the sub thank you for supporting the kids of saint jude is that a customer build? No, this is a build for Man vs. Game. So the reason we started doing the wooden crate armor is because we were sending it a crazy high-end PC to someone in, I want to say it was, it was way up north. It was like Vermont. Somewhere where it snows a lot. Yeah, it was a lady in Vermont. Yeah, she got the PC three on three separate occasions, completely soaked from the UPS driver dragging it to her front door through Dude, sleet snow. and snow, which is crazy. Um, finally, we had to rebuild the PC for her every single time. Uh, she was getting very, very annoyed. Of course, when you spend a crazy amount of money on a PC and it keeps coming in trashed, um, it's annoying. So we sent it to her in a wooden crate. We had one specifically constructed for her PC. We sent it to her, boom, it got there perfect, no damage whatsoever. Henceforth, Origin PC crates were born and brought on to the good people of the Origin PC community. <laughs> Henceforth. Chip chip. It says mostly live bees. <laughs> 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 My UPS driver is going to earn his keep with the third floor walk up apartment. Oh man. What's up, Corval? How you doing? Did I say that name? Corival? Yeah. How, how do you get Amazon Prime? What is it exactly? Sorry for repeating. Oh, so on Amazon, um, Amazon, you sign up for Amazon Prime. I want to tell you all the benefits, but I don't know them all. I know that you get free two day shipping on Amazon. Why am I doing a plug for Amazon right now? <laughs> Amazon. Amazon Prime. You get like free two-day shipping. You get access to all their like Netflix category of streaming videos and TV shows and all sorts of cool stuff. They have a pretty cool selection. They have a lot of um, exclusive titles that are pretty awesome to them. Uh, what other benefits do you get with Amazon Prime? Is that it? Free two-day shipping and that, right? No, you get so much more. 
He gets so much more. I think there's... Oh, there's Prime Now, which is pretty cool. So you can get... There's a separate app for Amazon called Prime Now where you can order something on Amazon. It's a selective, selective list. It doesn't have everything. But it gets delivered to you within hours instead of days, which is pretty cool. You're on Twitch. Might as well plug the Amazon. That's, what, that's right. They are one right now. Oh, God. I'm getting the hiccups. That sucks. So if you go on Amazon, you, you'll... Trust me, if you go on Amazon and you're not a Prime member, you'll see where to click to become one. Because they plaster that everywhere. Prime Books as well. Sweet. There you go. What would be the best AM4 motherboard that works properly for a good looking build and won't break? Um, I w the Gigabyte one's pretty good. Um, MSI makes a really good a AM4 and so does Asus. They're all pretty nice. Don't think, don't think that because that that board broke that it's a gigabyte issue. It's not. Gigabyte makes great, great products. I merged Twitch Prime. How do I sub? Um, it's under the sub options. Yeah, it's under the subscription options. If, he's on the PS4 though. He's on, he's on the PS4. That's why he's asking. Oh. I'm not too sure how to do it on the PS4. I've never tried it. If anyone does, anyone know how to do it on the PS4? Um, if you, I know. Well, can you see? Can you see our our underlay, like all our buttons and stuff at the bottom? Because there is a link down there. Let me see. Let me see something. If on the PS4 you can click this link, maybe it'll let you do it. Maybe not. I'm looking at something different. Damn, I don't know, man. Is is this it? Oh, no, I'm hearing myself. I'm hearing myself hearing myself. No. No. For PS4, you may need to go through the browser. I don't know how to do it through the app, yeah. So you're watching me on your TV right now? It's pretty cool. Hi, Mom. I'm on TV. App won't let you? Oh, man. That's a bummer. How much gigahertz can an overclocked i9 have? Depends on the i9, but they can get pretty high up there as well. The thing about the i9s though is they have multiple cores. Yeah, I guess so the, I guess the overclock becomes smaller yeah, because of the amount of cores it has. Exactly. But it has multiple cores. For example, the top i9 has 18 cores. Yeah. 18 cores, it's insane. Um, but the speed on it's like what, 2.3 or something? Uh, yeah, it's, it's 2.3 when not overclocked, and I think a stable overclock is like maybe 3. Maybe. Which is not a lot, but it's stable. And you have 18 cores running at 3 gigahertz, so. It's pretty phenomenal. Pretty phenomenal. 2.6. There you go. How can I work with you guys on something? I'm 16. Trying to win. Send money. Um, I don't know what you mean work with us on something. Like work, work for us? You can check out our careers. Oh, 16 might be too young to work here. From your experience, how much does a streaming PC cost? Only streaming? Totally depends on what you go with. Uh, but you can build a pretty good one. Probably for... I mean, if you build it yourself... Since you're not getting a GPU, you could probably build it for under a thousand. Um, you can get something close to that price though with us as well if you want someone else to do it for you. Is it worth buying a Ryzen Threadripper for a gaming PC and animation? Absolutely. The Threadripper is awesome. The 1950X is great. Six, that's the 16 core one, the 1950, right? But most software isn't written to take advantage of all 18 cores. Correct. Yeah, but things that you do like uh, rendering videos or uh, streaming, for example, or anything like that can take advantage. What's the best processor for gaming today? You're looking at it right now, I think. 
the 8700K is my personal favorite. Uh, the Ryzen is also really good for the AMD side. Later, show to pop. Have a good one, buddy. Yeah, there are legendary vigilante. Yeah, we're fine on time. Who's your favorite mixer streamer? Oh man, I have a few. But uh, I like Jobless Garrett. He's a good friend of ours too. I love watching his stuff. He's always a funny dude. Jobless Garrett. Big shout out to J JG. Or did he move? Did he move to... No, he didn't. I think he's still on Mixer. Hi. What's up? What's up, Means? How you doing? I know nothing about PCs. Well, ask away, man. Or sit here and watch and learn. Whatever you want. 8700K is nice. Yeah, for sure. i7 or i9 I for gaming depends. I mean, the i7 is ideal. Just because it's... Uh, most games Every don't even... Game, I mean, yeah. yeah. Most games wouldn't take advantage of all those multiple cores. I mean, there is some that would, but... It's, it's really... It's overkill for, yeah. for just doing it. Exactly. Exactly. Hi, guys. First time on the stream. What's up? What's going on, man? Good to meet you. Welcome. Make yourself at home. We have comfy couches and cookies in the back. Feel free to grab one. Just one, though. We'll know if you take more. Leave some for your friends here. Um, one game that takes advantage of the CPU. What's a really CPU intensive game? Uh, Watch Dogs 2. Watch Dogs. Super uh, CPU intensive game. There's a few MMOs too, like WoW is, or WoW was. Not so much anymore. They've optimized Yeah. You said about custom PCs, what would make what would be the price for AMD Ryzen and AMD GPU? Do you guys make custom cases? So this is our custom case. We don't make cases. Um, I don't know off the top of my head what it would be, but they're pretty affordable. The AMD side is always more affordable than uh, Intel, NVIDIA. Um, and it just depends on the user what you prefer using. Assassin's Creed, anything Ubisoft. Yeah, most of the Ubisoft stuff is very CPU intensive. What cooler are you using? This is a Frostbite 360 all-in-one liquid cooler. Man, <laughs> the kids, <laughs> the insults that I get on Mixer are always the same, and they're not, like, they're not even insults. You guys need to up your insult game. I wish I could say one. Actually, <laughs> should I do it? Oh, man, would I get in trouble? What? Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I have the best infault, insult, and I wish I could teach you. I wish I could teach you Mixer, guys. <laughs> but I'm not going to say it. No, no, I'm not going to say it. Up, dog. What's up, dog? Not much, dog. What's up with you? I love that. That's a good joke. The Xbox kitties. It's beautiful, it is. You're cute. Thank you, AJ. You're pretty cute, too, man. Smooches. Do it in sign language. I don't even know sign language. Just roast them like Bike Man does. <laughs> if Origin PC CEO came in here and told me I can do it, then I'd do it. <laughs> it's not even that bad. I just, I don't want to. I don't want to. By the way, do you still have the Genesis X2? No, that was a one-off thing that we did for the Intel Extreme Challenge. I like your logo. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. You're not a kind? Oh, I think you're kind. You can't say that about all of us, Koozie. No, not at all. I never said that about all of you. I love Mixer. Mixer's one of my favorite platforms. I love them all, really. But I love the people at Mixer. They always put me on the front page. They're so nice at events. The whole community is so like super uplifting. I know it's not. I know it's not the Mixer community. It's uh, it's the children. 
<laughs> What's the cheapest gaming PC? So you can look at our Kronos or our Eon 15S. Those are good. The Eon 15S, it's the our entry-level laptop. Our Kronos is a desktop, small form factor. I'm still running an i5 3570K, dude. That's an awesome CPU. I'm not a kid. I would, was I talking about you? Why are you? Why are you defending yourself so much? I didn't say everyone a mixer is a kid. Jeez, jeez, man. Mixer was great even back when it was Beam. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. Mixer magic. What's up, Zare Bear? How you doing? I have a 6700K. That's what I have at home too. I run a 6700K at home. I love looking at hardware I can never have. Mr. Malice, you and me both. How much RAM do you recommend? Depends on what you're doing. Uh, 16 gigabytes is always a good sweet spot. What's up? Yeah. Do you guys hire in Canada? We do not. We only have a facility here in Miami, Florida. Or did we see hi on Lyrics Liability you told us why to choose you over others. But why should I, as a Norwegian, choose Origin over someone in my own country? You're free to sell out. Uh, thank you, Mashu. Um, so the benefits of getting an Origin PC are the same when you ship worldwide. Um, the thing is, when we do ship worldwide, we still offer the same phone support. Um, it just is harder for us to deal with the warranty stuff since we are shipping to a different country and there's VATs and taxes involved. Uh, that is the hardest part about buying anything from a U.S. company as as someone that's living internationally. Um, so it really depends. If if you live outside of the U.S. and you're just a huge Origin PC fan and you love what we do and you love our systems, then of course, I would say, of course, go through us. But if you're on the fence, um, then we would not fault you for going for someone else. I mean, we understand that paying all that extra for VAT and taxes is not super beneficial. But if that is not a concern to you and you want to go with a company like us because of our support, because of our high-end builds, because of our professionalism and, and just the wealth of knowledge that we have with gaming PCs, then I would say it's absolutely worth it. Do you have a website? Yes, www.originpc.com. Welcome back, man. Welcome back, man. What's the top FPS for this PC? Man, I don't know. It depends on the game he's playing, but yeah. I would see him probably getting well over 100 FPS in most games with high settings. Well over. W, W, W. Crazy Lazy, how are you doing, my man? Good to see you. I may think of getting one. Awesome, CB. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up. We're always here. We're always available on Twitter. If you guys have any questions personally for me, I don't know if you could see it. It seems a little bit small. But my information... Actually, it's been springing up in chat. Where's my... Boop. boop a doop There it is. So down here, my name tag, is my Twitter handle. That's at Kuziel. I'm at Kuziel across everything, pretty much, except for Instagram. Instagram, I'm Lex Roselle, which is the middle part of my name and my last name. Uh, but feel free to hit me up on Twitter. I'm always answering questions on Twitter. Any PC-related questions, even if it's not pertaining to Origin PC, if you just have a question about PCs in general, feel free to hit me up. I'd be more than happy to help you out with anything. If you want to play video games, Origin PC, play some 90s grudge, uh, you hit me right in the sweet spot. That is what I prefer to listen to more than anything. I wish I could. But then we'd get cut out on Death Stars. Oh, yeah. is that is that Jen? Yeah. <laughs> I would get uh, we would get banned on YouTube, which I don't want to do. Why is my nose so itchy? Of course, it'd be her that asks. What's up, Blade Solstice? How you doing? Is that an Origin water cooler pump? Yes, this is our Origin Frostbite 360. That computer is a beast. It certainly is. C 
Smashing Pumpkins are doing a reunion tour, apparently. Yeah, I heard uh, he was on Joe Rogan's podcast. Billy Corgan, is that his name? Is it Corgan? Billy Corgan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast not that long ago, and he was talking about that they were doing do a reunion tour. That's pretty awesome. I'll definitely go catch them. Speaking of Joe Rogan, my man John and I are going to go see him March when? March something. So excited. So excited. March 17th? March 17th. Very excited. What RAM is this PC? 32 gigabytes, 266 megahertz. How to become a PC builder for the company? You can apply. Money's run dry for Corgan. <laughs> it seems like it, right? Focusing on the 90s albums? Oh man, that's going to be an awesome tour. Tonight. <laughs> Say Blade. 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 Best GPU. EVGA for NVIDIA, Sapphire for AMD. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, they're all really good, but I do love the EVGA ones. Corgan spent too much time in TNA Wrestling. That's right. You know, did he know that he owns TNA Wrestling? That's this thing that he does. He was talking about that on the Joe Rogan experience. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's such a weird thing. I know. He apparently is just a humongous wrestling fan and wanted to buy a wrestling federation, and he did. Monkey? Okay. <laughs> I love Mixer Chat. How long have you been building this PC? We started at 3 p.m. Eastern, so we're about two hours in right now. Asus makes very type cool, top quality this stuff. Is, uh, yep. The last bit of it, by the way. The best 750 watt modular power supply, EVGA, makes a really good one. Say origin. <laughs> Is the air-cooled GPU good enough? Absolutely, for sure. Not. It depends. If you overclock it, then no. But just for standard, yes, of course. I got a 1.3 kilowatt power supply in my Genesis. Jeez. Jeez. Thank you. You're good. You're good, too. Monkey. Say Davies. <laughs> I'm so confused. Is this your best PC? It's definitely up there. This is a pretty awesome PC. We have we have insane PCs though. You can get as crazy as you want with your PC builds. I'm getting a phone call. I am not going to answer this. <laughs> Alright, I'm done saying names. Stop asking me. You can definitely overclock an, yeah, you can overclock an air-cooled card, but if you want to get a really high overclock, it's safer to have it liquid-cooled. For sure. For sure. Phase. Ah, oh, come on, bro. And of course your name's Phase. <laughs> You're the best at this. Thanks, man. Can you get quadros? Yes, you can get them quadros with our systems. What kind of support do you have after a PC is shipped? We have, we offer 24 hour lifetime customer support with any one of our PCs. So any PC purchase you make for the lifetime that you have the PC, we have 24 hour support available to you. That means that no matter the time of day or day, you can give us a call and we will be here to answer your questions. Lifetime. Lifetime, baby! Watch out, Kuzi. They're gonna clip all those sound clips together and make you say something incriminating. That would actually be pretty funny. <laughs> I would love I would love for that to happen. No one's ever made a, a stupid, funny video of me, and it would be awesome. It would look clipped, because John's hands would be moving like... Meh, 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 meh. Can I call Origin Tech Support to just chat if I'm feeling lonely? You absolutely can, man. You can always tweet at me, too. Tweet me. DM me. I'll be more than happy to chat you up. You can also just call us here. We'll be more than happy to talk to you.
what's your cheapest PC? I would look at our Eon 15S or our Kronos. So either laptop or desktop, whatever you want. Who's building this? His name is John John. The man with two first names. I don't think that guy likes me. Who? Me? I like you, Nick. Okay, you guys sold me on the Quake Champions PC just because I want the Quake logo on my PC. Totally worth it. Nice. You can get any logo you want on the PC. Whatever you, whatever you want, we will happily do for you. What do you think about AIO coolers? I love them. We have one right in here. Ugh. God. Bye. Is slow chat on? I can put it on. Uh, slow chat. Oh, there we go. We'll make it two seconds. Is that all right? Spam goes in cans, not in chat. <laughs> I have one of your PCs. Awesome, man. You suck. Thanks, bro. Right back at you. What's the best way to keep dust out of your PC? So, I always recommend monthly or every two months, get a can of Dust Off or Duster, whatever they call it nowadays, out of your local CVS or Walgreens or whatever you have around you. It's a little can that just sprays compressed air. Uh, take your PC like to the edge of your door and just do that so all the dust flies out of it. That's the best way to, to make it dust free. You're always gonna get dust in your PC unless you have like a lot of proper dust filters. Hey, you want to let you suck because that's because that's all and please don't like that. Okay. Are you having a stroke, man? Can someone call this man a doctor? What color do you taste? <laughs> yeah. Are you smelling toast right now? That could be, a, could be a sign. How does water cooling work? So essentially, there's a radiator attached to fans. The fans blow in cool air, cool the radiator, which cools the liquid inside of it. The radiator also has tubes leading to a pump, which is, it just runs through. Does that make sense? Did I explain it with my hands? So it runs from the radiator out through the tubes into the pump, back up into the radiator, cooling it over and over again. That's how it works. Can I call Origin PC if I have a super weird tech issue that seems to be stumping everyone I talk to? If you have an Origin PC, <laughs> you can. I'm so confused. Rust nuts. If you need help, blink twice. Consoles killed PC gaming. <laughs> Someone just said that in Mixer. You're funny, buddy. I love consoles too, man. Believe me, I have a PS4 and an Xbox at home. And a Switch. I love console gaming. But there's huge differences between the two. I hate to break it to you, buddy. But I know it is more expensive, and you're probably too young to afford one, so I understand. I understand where you're coming from, friend, pal. If you have pets, it's worse for your PC cleaning. I understand that again. I understand that. Well, thanks. Now I'm craving toast. <laughs> Console Omega Lol. Most console games cap at 30 FPS. That's a beautiful machine. Thank you, Far From Idle. This channel is chill AF. Thanks for streaming man's build. No problem, man. We're going to be doing a lot more of these builds this year, too. Oh, man. Rust Nuts, I'm sorry, dude, but you're annoying as shit. I'm going to have to get ready, buddy. See ya, pal. Have a good one. I talked to Kevin a bit at PAX West. Super awesome what Origin PC does, to be honest. Also, super friendly guy. We love Kev, man. He's good. He's a good dude. Ah, yes, the Switch. What's up, man? 
Man PA kill you. I think that's what your name is. <laughs> What's the worst damage you've seen from a PC that was shipped back for repairs? Oh. Um, I think like the the grossest one is when people smoke in their house, and then all that that build up, and it just you know, the inside of the computer reeks, and there's yellow dust everywhere. But we've seen some pretty gnarly things, for sure. Call me kill. All right, I will. Can MacBooks run games like Fortnite? So there's only a very specific amount of games that run on a Mac. Um, but yeah, some Macs can play games, just not. Not perfect, but they can they can do it. They can get it done. Sup, dudes? What's up, SSJ? How you doing, man? Yellow. Animal hair, I bet, is a problem. Animal hair is a problem too. You should have seen Koozie the other day getting onto this idiot troll on Mixer. The troll told Koozie to get a job. That was hilarious. I'm sitting here doing my job and he tells me to grow up and get a job. I didn't I didn't know how to react. <laughs> I did I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Hold control and type WTF. It's really hard to do. It's a good one, man. That looks sharp. Meanwhile on Linux. Dude, get that guy some water. He's been building a whole PC. No, he doesn't get it until the job's done. That's the way it works here. You don't get anything until the job's done. You hear me, John? My fingers are bleeding. I don't care. Get back to work. <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in two hours. <laughs> Yo, man, thanks for getting back on Twitter. I'll get you that info. Just want to say first update was bio, so I'm sure it's the Oh, no problem, man. Yeah, give me that info whenever you can. I'm more than happy to help you out. Dang, fingers bleeding. Thank you. Just give me some idea for cable management. I know this isn't an origin build, but any recommendations for battle cable management within a terrible take V2 one? It's a cube. I thought I'd ask. Um, dude, the best thing I could advice I can give you for cable management is do it by sections. So. When you run, yeah, do it slowly. When you run, run your cables from the case first into the motherboard and do cable management on those. Run uh, your your 24 pin and your 8 pin CPU, manage those, run through the back, of course. Then start doing uh, the SATA, SATA cables from your hard drives, do that. Then do the SATA power connectors for your hard drives, do that. Do the, the, uh, the VGA connectors for your GPUs, do that. And that's... Uh, best way to do it. Just do it by sections. Do it little by little. Don't be afraid to use too many zip ties. Zip ties. Lots of zip ties. That too. Lots of zip ties. Man, I need to go, I need to, go to the bathroom. What specs would you recommend is enough for 60, 1080p in most games? Uh, a 1060 GPU will work just fine. 1080p, 60 FPS. 1060 GPU, 16 gigabytes, quad core CPU. You can even, a 1050 Ti will get you 60 FPS in most games at 1080p. Do you guys attend a lot of conventions or have a street team to help promote y'all at events? Yes, we do. Um, I'm usually at events. John John is sometimes with me at events. Uh, Tom, our events coordinator, Origin PC CEO himself. Uh, you can usually find us at most of the events. Um, what we do is we, we loan PCs to our partners, so you'll see our PCs all over most of the events. Um, and we're there to chat with people, meet new people, learn about new games. Uh, so yes, we are at at most events, PAX, all the PAXs, TwitchCon, uh, E3, what else am I missing? QuakeCon, BlizzCon, ConCons, ComicCon. Unfortunately, not the adult convention. 
but I hope we hope to get there one year. See, yes is another one you'll find us at. Uh, or do you see I have a 962 gigabyte card, i5, 16 gigabytes. What should I upgrade first? I would probably upgrade first. I would probably up update the GPU first. Um, for example, I can play Witcher 3 Ultimate Max, works 1060 stable FPS. What CPU is best paired with it so it doesn't bottleneck? Anything that's up to date, like a 6700K or higher, is always good. This PC costs 4500 bucks, yes, with the warranty and the, the custom panels, um, the support, and the shipping, yes, in total, about 4500 Pretty, pretty good. Ah, yes! It, it is all done now. A man versus game. Please come look at your completed uh, PC, sir. Can we? Am I zoomed in on the camera? Why does it seem so close? Or is it just because uh, you have it close? Let me see if I'm zoomed in by chance. I am not. Whoa! Open it up. Let him take a look at the inside. Turn it, please. Turn it, please. Oh. Ain't that lo- Isn't she lovely? Isn't she something? I wish I knew the lyrics to that song. <laughs> Sexy, it's alive! That was a lot faster than I was expecting. There you go, man. Professional quality. Mm, 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 mm. Well, friends, there you have it. That was our build for MVG. Big thank you to Man Versus Game. Again, big welcome, my dude, to the Origin PC family. We are very excited to have you here. We sincerely hope you enjoy your PC. I will let you know when it's on the way. I'm also going to send you pictures of your panel and post them on social media when that's done so you can take it out. We love you, dude, and we hope you love this PC. Um, friends, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our crazy week of live builds. This is the third and final one we're doing this week. We're going to have uh, some more coming up. We don't have the panel done yet, but I'll show you the picture of how it's going to look. That's how it's going to look. Oh, oh, pretty. Yeah. So we're really excited to get that sent your way. Uh, friends, make sure to tune in tomorrow to our live show, Origin PC Live at 4 p.m. EST. Our special guest, none other than Tally, is going to be joining us uh, via Skype, I believe. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to chat about a stream. We're going to chat about gaming. Um, we're going to have some gaming news and some special surprises. We're doing our Post of the Week giveaway, so make sure you participate in Post of the Week. Stay tuned to our social media because we're going to be announcing our next giveaway very, very soon. Make sure to follow us at Origin PC across everything. The giveaway is going to be worldwide, too. So thank you, guys. Uh, other than that, we hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Have a fantastic day. Take care of yourselves. Love yourselves. And love the ones that love you. You guys take it easy. See ya. <laughs> you guys are awesome, man. Have a great night, friends.